what we're going to be doing is talking about some very basic transport hotkeys. Uh, these are very, very simple to, uh, to, to remember. Uh, they're pretty much almost universal on almost every DAW you can experience uh, from Reason to Cubase to Fruity Loops to Logic to Pro Tools. It doesn't really make any difference. So the first key that we're actually going to be using is just a space bar. It's very, very simple. It just starts and stops the song. And there you have it. So space bar is going to be your start and stop for playing anything inside your DAW. The next one is going to be record. Obviously, there's no point in actually using a DAW unless you're going to be recording. Now this can dif differ on what you want it to be set up as, but let's just say we wanted to record, say, right around here, and I could hit the asterisk key right on the numbers pad, and as soon as I hit the asterisk key, you will see that whatever track is highlighted is now able to record on. And again, I use the spacebar to start and stop the recording. Regardless of where the song position line is in your song, you might want to just jump right back very fast to the beginning of the song. And you can do that on the transport by using this little button. And you can see it jumps right back. But I'll go ahead and fast forward so you can see, like right here, it's a little bit past bar three. I don't want to always have to come back to the transport to do that. So if I hit the period right below the zero, or right next to the zero, it jumps right back to the beginning of the song. The next one is just basically being able to move forward and backward in your project. Sometimes this is not set up by default. Uh, you have to manually set this up uh, in Cubase, and you also have to manually set this up in a couple other programs, but it's a very simple function. Sometimes you just want to jump right up to bar four. Now how I did that is I just used the arrows, the up, down, left, and right arrows on your keyboard, and I just set this up to the left arrow, uh, jumps back a bar, the right arrow jumps forward a bar. And that's how you can navigate through your song just by left and right arrows. Now, if you're going to be able to record something to time, there's no way to edit properly without using the metronome. It doesn't matter how good you are at music, you're still going to need some kind of a reference point. You cannot have the click turned off or the metronome turned off and actually record uh, any kind of eighth notes or sixteenth notes because what would you be calling a sixteenth note if there was no reference? to the tempo. So what we need to do is listen to the tempo and you can arm it by hitting the C key and you can see on the transport it clicks on and off just by hitting the C. So I'll go ahead and play it with the metronome off and then by hitting C now you can hear the C key, uh, the click is on now. So the default key command is C for click and we'll go ahead and actually jump back to the beginning of the song by hitting the period and we'll go ahead and hit the asterisk to record and with the metronome on I'll just play some eighth notes and hit spacebar to stop so now if I want to go right back to bar two I can just use my arrows and go right back to bar two if I want to go back to the beginning I can just hit the period key and it jumps right back to that point and that is basic navigation. So just going up and down by bar, just use your left and right. Turning on the metronome is C. Start and stopping, spacebar, asterisk is record, and period is return to zero.